thanks for you you are in this meeting so let's start i have a question for you dad you you have an impressive journey from working in various roles to funding your own startup can you share a bit about your background and what inspired you to become an entrepreneur uh, i earned my uh, marketing degrees uh, from uh, the university in uh, 2010 initially i, I served uh, i started by uh, working in Nike exclusive distributor here in Algeria as a store manager, as a seller person in the first. After just three months, uh, I'm upgrading the level to the store manager. Second experience, it uh, was with uh, a beverage company, uh, a big beverage company here in Algeria as uh, human resources. Uh, uh, and the last role, I work, I'm making, I'm making uh, in the side uh, personal projects, uh, and uh, the, my last experience, it was with a uh, uh, company in telecommunication sector as a content and the manager in the company, uh, working on the vast services. Uh, after this uh, uh, big experience, maybe uh, 12 years uh, in Algeria, uh, I'm starting my entrepreneurial journey uh, with my first company. Uh, first, first of all, I'm working after the experiences in e-commerce, making a small business in e-commerce and going directly to the digital marketing agency based uh, in uh, uh, in data-driven marketing. Uh, the, the, I'm, I'm making uh, I'm, I'm make the, an experience uh, with Magma, a business accelerator here in Algeria, maybe the first uh, business accelerator in Algeria. Uh, after the experience, I'm... Uh, no win, no, I'm, uh, uh, I'm focusing on the, the, the startup businesses and, uh, and have uh, big experiences in marketing, in, in, in the knowledge of uh, startups, everything like this. Uh, I launched my, uh, launched my first affiliate platform uh, with my partner, uh, Zakaria. It was great experience together. Uh, now, uh, now I'm, I'm, I'm I'm embarking on a new direction with launching a new uh, startup uh, or new project uh, fully. It's a platform of e-commerce and fintech, uh, uh, of e-commerce and fintech. So uh, let's let's connect with your new startup. So what is part the name in digital for your startup and how does it reflect your company goals and values? The name of startup uh, Digital In. It was uh, inspired my, uh, by uh, the end of, of the results of my careers uh, yes. and different experiences. Uh, it means uh, I'm working in the digital. This is uh, uh, from where I'm uh, getting the name. I'm mixing between my experiences in uh, digital uh, and traditional marketing and uh, digital marketing. Wow. Mm. So you have been actively involved in building this startup ecosystem. Could you share your insight on the startup scene in Algeria and the MENA? Uh, certainly the startup uh, sense in Algeria is in early stage, it's in uh, its early stages hmm. uh, of development while the government has shown interest uh, in uh, fostering entrepreneurship and uh, there is some potential. It's a still face challenges such, uh, such uh, as accesses to funding. Uh, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm visiting uh, JITEX uh, in Dubai. I'm making uh, the first meeting or the first uh, meetup of e-commerce players, uh, COD e-commerce players uh, in Algeria. That's all, I think. Uh, Cairo, Riyadh, I'm visiting Cairo, Riyadh uh, in Arabia Saudi. What kind of company culture you have fostered in digital and how do you ensure that your team is aligned with your mission and vision? At uh, Digital Inn, we have uh, cultivated a company culture that mm -hmm. uh, embodies our uh, value of innovation, collaboration and customer centric. Our mission and vision serve as the guiding principles that uh, shape our culture and the way uh, we uh, operate. So everyone loves a good origin story. So can you take us back to the moment when the idea for in digital first sparked in your mind and what was the inspiration behind it? Inspiration 
uh, struck during my career journey where uh, I, trans I, I transitioned uh, from rules, roles in retail, human resources, and content management uh, to, to uh, eventually founding my own textile company. company uh, along the way, I realized the, the power of combining the best pra practices from both traditional and digital marketing to create more effective uh, companies, campaigns. Campaigns, yeah. So uh, my next question is, you organized that court meeting in the first forum of e-commerce practitioners in Algeria. What was the motivation behind this event and what were the key theories? Uh, the motivation behind organizing uh, the COD meeting, cash on delivery meeting, uh, the first forum for e-commerce participants in Algeria was to address the growing uh, of e-commerce in the Algeria market and provide a platform for participants to share knowledge and insight. Uh, this event aimed to uh, foster collaboration, innovation, and problem solving uh, with the uh, the e-commerce sectors and players. Are there plans to expand your startup beyond Algeria or explore new markets? Yes, absolutely. We are uh, seeking new markets beyond uh, Algeria. And this is what we are working on right now by launching full in. We begin with uh, in-depth market research carefully, assisting uh, uh, potential target markets based on factors like uh, market size, competition, customer behavior, and uh, uh, recruitment. We uh, actively seek out investors and VCs to help on the growth and also uh, uh, capitalizing on their expertise and uh, networks. Hmm. Learning from others is a vital part of growth. Have you had any mentors or role models who have influenced your entrepreneurial journey? Certainly, there is a person who, mm. who really left uh, this, uh, his fingerprint in, uh, in me, which is uh, Mohamed Shawish, uh, the founder of uh, PMG Group, the official distributor in Algeria. Uh, he was uh, really a leader, uh, great manager, patient. Uh, I learned a lot from him and from uh, his experience. So now I need to talk about your in digital uh, startup. So how much the investment do you require? Um, you have a specific amount in your mind. Uh, uh, right now we we build the financial uh, uh, the financial uh, plane. Uh, mm. We set all our needs, our potential, our uh, market size, our uh, dreams, and next steps. Uh, maybe uh, five thousand. Uh, uh, K uh, dollars. What is the equity uh, offer you want to offer to your investor? How much equity offer you are having? Uh, it's it's uh, it's a kind of uh, we should talk with the investor about all the details mm -hmm. and uh, seeing the the capability of investment with us. We decided uh, together. Mm hmm. Okay. As someone with a finger on the pulse of technology in e-commerce, what do you believe will be the most disruptive innovation in the near future? Uh, and uh, edge computing, fintech, maybe this is uh, the big uh, innovation in the near the future. Mm. You have been involved in both local and international initiatives. How has having a global perspective benefit your startup and personal growth? Uh, I think, uh, first of all, being present in both local and international sense has greatly uh, greatly uh, expanded my network option, introducing us uh, to a vast range uh, of uh, possible clients, partners, and mentors all around the world. Uh, in digital, uh, uh, has has helped has helped the in digital to uh, flourish uh, by providing doors to worldwide market and key collaborations. My second question is regarding your investor type. 
what kind of investor do you think in which region it should be either USA, UAE, or you are open for all kind of investors in any in any region? Uh, yeah, yeah, we are op we are open of, of all kind of investors, but we want to uh, make a partnership with investors who can help us. Uh, uh, who can help us in uh, upgrading and uh, rising the best uh, steps uh, in, in the injections in the startup, maybe in the SaaS, maybe in the SaaS industry uh, would hmm. be uh, better, would be better to help hmm. us, of course. Hmm. Hmm. Looking ahead, what is your long-term vision? Where do you see your startup in the next five or 10 years? Uh, if, if all... Uh, all the thing, all the things will be good. A unicorn that has driven an impact in the e-commerce industry. We believe in that. Okay, you mentioned supporting more than thirty young people in launching e-commerce project through free training and support. What drove you to invest in the next generation of entrepreneurship, and what advice do you give them? Uh, I'm really interested in in, in the entrepreneur. Uh, uh, sector, the projects were driven by uh, my commitment to uh, nutriting, nutri nutriting talents uh, and uh, fostering innovation. Uh, and my advice to them is to stay resilient in the face of challenges, know their customers, and uh, uh, educate themselves to adapt uh, the landscape and all the challenges. Uh, uh, we'll face them. Any other, other advice do you want to give them? Uh, almost of the the always the of the young people that I mentor them or I help them. Uh, they now they launch their project uh, in e-commerce on in other sectors. Uh, I will be happy. Uh, for any helps more of others. In these few days, in these next days, maybe tomorrow, we start a big event in Algeria of e-commerce. I will be there uh, to make uh, conferences and sharing uh, the knowledge with them. Uh, I will share you some photos uh, after the, the event. Okay. Uh, thank you, you, for this time. And uh, they will connect with you again for the further processes. Uh, and uh, have a nice talking with you and we will keep you update on the next session we will have with you. Thank you. Thank you so much uh, for your uh, time, uh, for your helps, everything. Uh, we will meet uh, the next time. <laughs>